take a tennis ball and hit it hard on the wall it will stick to the wall am i right no i'm joking tell me what is going to be happen there if you are doing so the ball will bounced back by the wall the same is happen with light when light falls on some some shining surface light is also bounced back like the ball this process is known as reflection of light along with reflection of light we are also going to discuss an interesting phenomenon today that is lateral inversion have you seen the medical vans on which word ambulance is written as literally inverted what is the reason behind we will also discuss that how are you all good morning dear students ready to learn science with me let's go first of all we are going to discuss about the content given at page number 195 definition of reflection of light and one type of reflection that is regular reflection and then page number 196 having the second type of reflection that is uh, irregular reflection and then we will discuss about lateral inversion here i'm going to show you something you have done it so many times at your home when a beam of light is allowed to fall on a plane mirror what will happen to that beam of light it's change its direction of propagation and make a beautiful glare चमक चौंधा भी बोलते हैं इसे तो एक चमक बनाता है एक्चुअली दैट इज द दैट इज ड्यू टू द दैट बीम विच फॉल ऑन द शाइनिंग सरफेस एंड दिस प्रोसेस इज नोन एज रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट हेयर एक्टिविटी नंबर सिक्स इज गिवन आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू रीड इट फॉर यू let the light from a torch fall on the wall in a dark room we will see a bright patch of light on the wall now hold a plane mirror and shine the light of the torch on it we will see that the patch of light is now appearing at a different place a change in the position of torch or the plane mirror immediately changes the position of the patch of light the plane mirror is reflecting the light falling on it in a well defined manner and that shining patch is known as glare dear student this this is nothing but the process of reflection of light let's read now what is the text given in the book there when light falls on a polished surface it is seen to change its direction of propagation this is just like a ball bouncing back when hit on a floor or a wall this phenomenon is called reflection of light now we are going to discuss about the types of reflection there is two types of reflection one is regular reflection another is irregular reflection regular reflection is also known as plane reflection while irregular reflection is known as diffused reflection what is the difference between the two i'm just explaining you if we are falling a beam of light on a very shine smooth surface then the reflection then the bouncing back of this light is in a very well defined manner and we will get a sharp glare of that beam of light 
that type of reflection is known as regular reflection this is done by metals and very smooth shining surfaces let's read what is given in our text when a polished or shining surface like a plain mirror or shining metal sheet is used to reflect light we get a glare or a blinding effect chondha bolte hain jise in our eyes this is because these surfaces reflect light in a very well defined manner we can see an image of the object in such surfaces reflection of light from such surfaces is called regular reflection now the second type of reflection we are going to discuss that is irregular or diffused reflection think about the situation when light is allowed to fall on an ordinary rough surfaces not too much shiny normally the things present around us then in what way the light is bounced back that is bounced back in a very irregular diffused way and in this case we will not get a glare and such type of reflection is known as irregular or diffused reflection we are able to see the things around us we are able to read a book or see a flower in the garden or in totality all the things visible to us is because of this type of reflection that is irregular or diffused reflection now we are going to see read the text given in the book irregular reflection what about the reflection of light from ordinary rough surface how are we able to read a book how are we able to see various things around us the reflection of light from such surfaces takes place in an irregular diffused manner there is no glare in an any particular direction this is what enables us to see the various object around us we call such reflection is as irregular or diffused reflection now something interesting for you if you are writing an alphabet on a paper and see it through a plain mirror what you will observe the alphabet will appear to the laterally inverted to you how it happened this is happened because of a special properties of the images formed by the plane mirror the right side of the object appears left in the image and left as right or you can say vice versa and this process is known as this phenomenon is known as lateral inversion lateral means sides sides ka inverse ho jana ulta ho jana right side लेफ्ट दिखाई देती है लेफ्ट साइड राइट दिखाई देती है यदि मिरर के सामने आप अपना राइट हैंड उठाएंगे तो आपको लगेगा इमेज में आपका लेफ्ट हैंड उठ रहा है एंड एंड वी इंटेलिजेंट ह्यूमन बींग्स यूज दिस लिटरल इनवर्जन इन आवर डे टू डे लाइफ वेयर ऑन द मेडिकल वेंस the word ambulance is written as literally inverted as you can see in the diagram and what is the benefit of that think about the situation if any vehicle is going ahead of this medical van the driver will see this literally inverted ambulance quickly and in the rear view mirror and give the right way to the medical van so that patient can be reached hospital at its earliest now let's go through the text given in the book the image of an object in a plane mirror is of same size as the object is this is also one of the property of the images shown by the plane mirror but it shows an interesting property 
there appears to be an interchange of the left and right sides in the image that is left side of the object appears as the right side of the image and vice versa this property is called lateral inversion we observe lateral inversion almost every day for examples when we raise our right hand in front of a plane mirror our image appears to raise its left hand and vice versa and second is of medical vans the ambulance vans need it in medical emergencies make use of the phenomenon of lateral inversion we often find the word ambulance written on their front side the driver of a car going ahead of this vehicle sees it as ambulance in a right way in the rear view mirror of the car and therefore gives the right of way to such vehicles this is all about the practical use of lateral inversion dear students don't forget to do the practical by standing before your plane mirror today do the different practicals now something from my side keep differentiating between regular and irregular reflection and don't forget to observe an ambulance to see the practical use of lateral inversion now thank you have a good day dear students bye bye